Hello everyone, welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to talk about how you can use a VNC viewer with Raspberry Pi. So in the last video we have saw how you can use, how you can install a new OS in Raspberry Pi and use uh, Putty to uh, get into the Pi using SSH. And we did it like wirelessly so basically we haven't used any kind of keyboard, mouse or HDMI cable. So in this video we are going to see how you can use VNC in your Raspberry Pi so that you can access the graphical user interface. And also in this video we are not going to use any kind of keyboard, mouse or HDMI cable. Okay. So let's see how you can do it. Okay, so the first thing is we have to get into the Pi and for that we are going to use Putty. So in the last video I have like I have shown you how you can use Putty to get into the Pi. So if you don't know how to use Putty, you can watch my previous video. The link of the video will be in the description as always. In Putty, you have to give your local IP. In my case, it's 192.168.0.105 and the port is 22. Now here, you have to give your Pi username, which is Pi and the password. The default password is Raspberry. Now after that, we are inside the Pi. Now, the first thing we have to do to use VNC is we have to enable the VNC server in Raspberry Pi. And for that we have to use we have to use the command sudo raspy config okay so the, again this command will be also in the description so that you can copy from there now here you can go to the interfacing options and from there you go to vnc and there uh, it's asking you would you like to allow the vnc server to be enabled so you click yes here and after that it says the vnc server is enabled so you click ok and then finally you click finish now if you're doing it for the first time in that case it will take few seconds for you okay and after that it will be done now after that you have to install the vnc viewer now the link of the like to link to download this viewer will be in the description so after you will install the vnc viewer in this bar you just write your ip address in my case it's 192.168.0.105 the same uh, ip you used in uh, putty so after that it will say that authenticate to vnc server here the username will be pi and the password will be a default password in your case if you haven't changed it obviously after that if you press enter you will you will get this beautiful GUI so basically from here you can access the Raspberry Pi so as you can see this is my Raspberry Pi desktop and as you can see this is the image you can actually uh, like see the image here from here you can uh, access the terminal and you can do whatever you want to do in the graphical user interface okay like any like uh, how you do it in a HDMI connection that, that way okay you can do anything you can like change the like the access point and things like that okay and uh, like the settings you just the settings we did you have to uh, do it for the first time so after that it will like you don't need to do that again and again so if you just reboot it you will see uh, the VNC will be automatically enabled so as you can see we have rebooted it and now as you can see like it's attempted to reconnect to VNC server because we have just rebooted it so you just close it and you wait for a few seconds so it will take few seconds to boot the Pi game and uh, after a few seconds uh, you just try to reconnect it okay so it hasn't booted yet oh yeah so now it's available so now again put the same password and as you can see we haven't even like opened the putty and still the vnc is working just fine so that means for the first time only you have to open putty and do the settings and after that uh, like whenever you will turn on your pi the vnc will be automatically turned on and you can access it okay so this is all about this video guys this was a very quick video will make many more this kind of basic videos soon so stay tuned in my channel i hope you have liked this video so that's it for this video and see you in the next one